How's it going everyone? I just want to come back with another video showing you guys how to scrape LinkedIn data. Now the way I'm going to show you utilizes scraping the metadata of, of the Google search results. So just quickly, let's just get into it. Um, I'm going to utilize this search, search operator right here. And I'm going to break this down the way it works. So the first portion of this is site colon and then linkedin.com slash in slash. What this is gonna do is ensure that it's only gonna return profile pages from LinkedIn. If you were to look at a profile on LinkedIn, you're gonna see this real quick, but every single profile has this little piece right here, slash in slash. So let's go back to this. That's what this does. So making sure it's only profiles. Now the next part of it is in title, and this is just a, um, I just thought of a job title that you, somebody might want to search. So we're looking for directors of marketing. You can change this to anything you want. You can put president there, CEO, COO, whatever job title you think you should be targeting. You put that here between these two um, parentheses. The last part of it is in text, um, in parentheses again, gmail.com and in all capital letters and make sure you put the capitals because this is telling google don't include the word and in your search but use it as it's being used in a way that tells google the page has to have gmail.com and losangeloscalifornia.com so i've already entered that in google and i clicked enter and as you can see there were six results now i'm going to put this search search operator into my google scraper and we'll look at the results. So I'm gonna open up my, my input file, paste that in, hit save, close that out, and then I'm gonna run the Python script. Or my Google scraper, I should say. Drag this into your view. You can see that it's loaded my one search term. And this is actually good, because um, I forgot to mention that my scraper utilizes a service called Scraper API. Um, what Scraper API is, and it's an amazing service, by the way, um, it's an API that rotates through millions of different IPs. They have like millions and millions and millions of IP addresses. And the API just, like I said, just keeps rotating through these, these proxies or IPs. So Google can never block you for using the script. Um, I'll link to this in the description. But as you can see, it's very uh, competitively priced. And twenty nine dollars a month gets you two hundred fifty thousand API calls. I mean, that's for most people. That's more than enough uh, API calls to do to do scraping. Let's go back to that scraper and just waiting for this to show the results. And I'll pause the video. I'll come back and uh, I'll show you what it gets. As you can see, it's finished. So we're going to close close this out and open up the output file and drag this out so you can see what's happened. It's given us the search query that we ran, the, the URL of the profile, the title of the page, which is this right here, and then the metadata. Now, right away, you can see there's some interesting things in here. So we have a full name, we have a position title, and we have a company name. And then in the metadata, we have an email and a phone number. I mean, not all of this, all of these are gonna have both or even an email, but um, there's some good information in here. Now the next part of this is to put this in Excel and extract all the information. So the next thing we wanna do is open up Excel. So I'm gonna open up Excel. We're gonna drag our data in and you can see by the way that all the important columns are separated by a tilde. I'm pretty sure it's called a tilde. Honestly, not sure. But highlight column A, click over to your data tab, click text to columns, make sure you choose delimited, click next. Then if other's not selected, click other, and then type the tilde in there, and then click finish. And um, because there was a, a space after the tilde, all of these columns right here are gonna have a space at the front of it. So to quickly get rid of those, we're going to type equals trim, select B1, click enter. Then because we have two more rows of, or two more columns, we need to clean clean that extra space. 
drag this over. So now we've got C and D. We can see the C in the form of the C1, D1. Highlight those again. Send them down by double clicking that. We're going to copy these. Go back to B1, right click, and paste values. Now we've removed the extra space. We can get rid of these, delete them. Now we have some clean, uh, cleaner data, it's starting to get a little clean. Next thing you want to do, we want to extract the, the names separated from the title and the company. So we're going to add in some rows here. I'm sorry, columns. Insert, insert, insert. I think that should be enough. Highlight this column, text the columns. And then you can see the data separated by a dash. So again, make sure delimited is checked. We're gonna do a dash here. Click finish. Now we've separated, well, for the most part, um, the uh, front first names from the businesses. And of course, you can still have some cleaning to do. It's not a perfect science. This is the part that takes forever, but if you want the data, you gotta clean it, right? We can see right away that this person is the same as this one. This is probably just a different language for the profile. And yep, that's exactly what it is. So if you notice this, just delete it. If you have a lot of data, I mean, there's ways to clean it up. So you don't have to deal with that from the beginning, but save that for another video. Uh, we can see that this lady's last name got cut off. So we'll move it back. All that looks fine. Um, we can get rid of this by choosing or selecting that. Control F. But it's going to use a replace function. If this is going too fast. I'm sorry. It's not really the point of this video, but I'm just showing you, you know, what, what's possible with all the cleaning. So now we have full names, titles, company name. And that was not a company name this up right here and process copy it select the columns paste it in replace all um, get rid of all this all right starting to look a little nicer right all right now the magic of this entire thing you can see that there's emails in all this text um, I'm not gonna sit there and copy paste all that crap. So I've um, wrote some Excel functions that will give us data we need. So we'll come to column G because our email is in column F. We're gonna put this function, and I'll link to it. I'll leave it in the description. I'm giving away all my trade secrets. And just to F because the data is in column F. Look at that. We just pull the email out of there. And granted, you still have to do a little bit more cleaning, but it got it got you a lot farther than having to go copy paste all that crap. Especially if you have thousands and thousands and thousands of records, it's gonna save you a lot of time. Now some of these have phone numbers, so I'm gonna use another function or formula to grab those. Column H. And this one has quite a bit. Let's see. Change this to F. I'll leave this in the description as well. And look at that. Um, value, this one probably didn't have a phone number in it, and it doesn't. That's why I threw up that. But look at this. It's beautiful, right? So now from that, we just pulled their email, their phone number. We have their business name, their position, full name. And if you do this on scale or at scale, you end up with something like this. So I hope I didn't jump around too much in this video. I hope it made sense. I hope I didn't go too fast. But here, I, mean, I laid it all, all out for you. If you want access to that script, email me at contact at and we can talk about you know how much it costs and you know, what you need to do to uh, get this up and running on your machine. It has to be a Windows machine, though. 
Okay, thank you guys so much and have a good one.